Dr. Dalem, it's yeah. always good seeing you. Good seeing you. Uh, what individuals had the greatest influence on your life in regard to the sport of wrestling? Um, I think all the wrestlers I had a chance to work with. Um, I was really blessed with great kids, and they, I think, had the greatest influence on uh, my career in wrestling. I really wasn't a wrestler, so as a result, I really didn't even know who to look up to. I think later on, people like Dan Gable and then uh, some of the great uh, individuals that wrestled here in Southern California, and Jack Hernandez, and people of that nature, yourself, uh, Bill Grant, people like that, I think, uh, who were exemplars in the state of California. But those were the people I initially looked up to when I started. Uh, in my wrestling career. So did you have any idols other than the coaches that uh, you mentioned? Uh, um, not necessarily wrestling, mm -hmm. but I did have uh, some people, of course my father was a big influence in my life, and my scout master, believe it or oh. not, who uh, I was an Eagle Scout and spent a lot of time in scouting, so I think uh, that had a lot to do with uh, uh, whatever success I had in wrestling. Well John, what, what made you uh, get into coaching wrestling? Like you said, you hadn't wrestled yourself, so right. what was the impetus to get you involved? Uh, um, I was just asked by a coach that uh, got back from Vietnam and a coach at Santa Monica High School was substituting there said come on down we need some help and uh, I went on down and uh, helped him out a little bit and just got started got a job at uh, Loera High School uh, they didn't really have a wrestling coach so I was just thrown in there didn't know anything about wrestling and uh, had to hustle real quick to find out but uh, I liked it uh, I was also coaching football at the same time but I really liked wrestling because of the close uh, association you had with the kids and uh, formed a lot of uh, you know special relationships and uh, I've always thought wrestling coaches particularly are uh, just great guys and uh, you know football coaches sort of stay after each other but the wrestling coaches once it's all said and done and so I sort of like that uh, fraternity that uh, camaraderie that I had uh, with those coaches. Yeah me too. What aspect of your personality or character, obviously you're very successful at Loera High School and for someone who hadn't wrestled before, what was it that made you who you were? Whatever that is. Uh, <laughs> I just always believed in kids and I thought it was uh, always, it is becoming a, a principal and president of CIF and all that. I think it's all about kids and I think uh, I wanted to be coached or I wanted to coach as I wanted to be coached. In other words, there were some things that some coaches a couple times, you know, treated you a little tough, and I wanted to be sure that if I did that with the student athletes that I had, that I also patted them on the back and got to know them. And uh, I feel uh, wrestling, when it's all said and done, after all, the half Nelsons, everything is a relational sport, and uh, I think that's the most important thing. Without a doubt. Uh, what are some of the outstanding moments, or the one outstanding moment you can remember from your involvement in wrestling, John? Uh, well, just about every day. I, I would guess if you talk competitively, it would have been Bruce Terry in his first state championship when he won his first mm -hmm. state championship, and that was a, a, almost a miracle, and uh, we were very excited. I mean, you talk about one event, but uh, uh, there were others who, with kids who weren't very good wrestlers and were never going to be good wrestlers but did the best that they could. I had a young man that had uh, heart fibrillations, almost died, yet wanted to come back and wrestle the senior year, had a special operation, had mesh put on his heart and everything so he could do it and, and got through the season. Those were just as satisfying as Bruce's victory. But you talk about one thing where I was pretty excited was Bruce's first state championship. How about dual meet? I bet I know which uh, one. <laughs> well, dual meet, uh, all our dual meets, uh, as you well know, <laughs> Uh, with El Dorado were all classics and I had such a great deal of respect for them and uh, they were what I think wrestling was all about and uh, we really went after each other. We used to fill the gymnasiums which is not happening today unfortunately and uh, there were some exciting times there as you know. <laughs> yeah, very fun. Would you do anything differently John if you're gonna start over as a coach? Um, Probably, it, it depends. When you're coaching today, if it's a long range program, which I was just sort of doing it year by year mm -hmm. uh, until I got into it for a few years, would have probably tried to develop a program from what they say A to Z. Something what similar you did with the success at uh, Calvary and the success at El Dorado. Programs that reached out into the community, programs that got youth wrestling and things mm -hmm. of that nature uh, would have tried to have done that. Uh, what Wayne does down, Brant Statter does down at Poway. Uh, but other than that, I don't think I would have changed anything. What would you like people to remember about you, John? Um, Gosh, I'm passing away here. Uh, <laughs> probably uh, that I really cared about my kids. I care about everyone that's in the wrestling community. And I've tried to do everything in my power, be it as a coach, an administrator, a state official, to further wrestling. And because, and I'm going to 
probably say it at a banquet tonight that uh, wrestling is a way of life and I've tried to do everything I could to continue wrestling and uh, as I say it's not the half Nelsons it's the the relationships the discipline that people learn uh, I think that's mm -hmm. hopefully uh, I made some contribution there yeah, and you've always tried to build people up too which right. is appreciate greatly appreciated it. how did wrestling contribute to your life and make you the obviously you're a high school principal administrator uh, how did wrestling contribute to that well i think coaching today uh, you know when i first started to apply for administrative positions you didn't want to say you were a coach because they thought you were a you to use the word jock and you know mm -hmm. you couldn't possibly do it and you weren't intellectual enough and i think everything that i ever learned about being a leader came through coaching the ups and downs the discipline the uh, not making excuses and all of that and i think that's probably what i learned most from wrestling and and i think uh, that's helped me in my entire life i was pretty fortunate i was in the army so i had some of that discipline before i got started but I think um, just the, the, the ability not to make excuses and always look on the bright side, always have a smile on your face, try to do the best you can. Mm -hmm. Well, John, congratulations on being inducted into the Hall of Fame. It's certainly well-deserved, and thank you. Thank you, Jeff. Appreciate the interview.